FTP or file transfer protocol is a standard communication protocol or a group of rules that govern how computers transfer files between systems over the internet. FTP is built on a client server model architecture using separate control and data connections between the client and the server. It is used to upload and download files from one computer to another. FTP files use an FTP file server, whereas the HTTP files use a web server. To upload and download files from FTP sites, we can use file transfer software such as WSFTP, Fetch, or Qt FTP, or a web browser. For example, we can use to upload and download files from the domain speedtest.tally.net. Okay, so I will use the uh, utility provided by the Microsoft Windows to use the FTP to connect to the domain speedtest.tally.net. Okay, so I just type here FTP and then the FTP is have a built-in okay, utility inside the Microsoft Windows. Then click open so it will open in the form of command prompt. Okay, so using FTP, we type open and then followed by the uh, domain name. So this is a speed test dot tally to dot net. Okay, then press enter. So now you can see it is connected to the domain speed test dot tally dot net. Okay, this is the port number 220. Okay, so this is asking for username. Okay, so I put anonymous over here. Okay, and then later we need to specify the password. So I just put any password over here, then press enter. It says the login successful. So now we have several commands related to the FTP, file transfer protocol. For example, here, the commands are like append, ASCII, bell, binary, buy, cd, okay? Buy is to exit, cd is to change the directory, binary is to show in the form of binary, close, delete, debug, directory, disconnect, get, okay? Help, ls, and so on, okay? For example, we want to do the listing, okay? Or we say the IR here. So now it will list all the files name that are inside that directory. Okay. Or we can use ls to list. So this is using the directory listing. Okay. For example, if because the FTP is used to upload and to download files. So if we have an account to upload the files to this server, this domain name, then we can use, okay, to upload the file, okay. So, you can use send file, okay. But over here, we want, because I don't have an account for this domain, so we want to get the file, okay. For example, I want to download the file size 1 megabyte. So this one mega file, it should be in the form of binary. This is a compressed file. So the instruction is we type binary. Just press enter. Okay. And then you type get. So one, the file name should be the same. Okay. We just want to get the one megabyte dot zip. And then press enter. This is, it will download the file in the form of binary. So the size is one megabyte. 
so the file is received in two seconds which is transfer 519 kilobyte per second okay so this is how we download the file using the FTP so if you take a look at the uh, now it look for Windows system 32 so this file should be inside our computer uh, where is it it should be one megabyte zip I'm not sure where is it search inside the computer this PC one megabyte mm. zip it should be somewhere over here uh, because we already downloaded it uh, do not specify the directory but usually when we download these files okay so similarly like you use okay for the web browser to download inside the UUM online learning okay so an example when you use okay uh, the online learning Okay, uh, let's see uh, UUM online learning. Okay, I uh, go to uh, the this one and then in progress uh, say let like group A. So when you upload your file, okay. So when you upload your file, for example, your individual assignment. Okay, some of you already submitted it already. Okay, one of you. Uh, the city Razana already submit okay so this is the one okay individual assignment IP address uh, things should be okay when you upload this one this is using the file transfer protocol okay and when you download for example I download her assignment okay so this is her assignment I put in the uh, download and then save so then i open this one i think this is about the ip address i just asked you to submit but uh, she submitted it differently okay she should submit it over here inside this activity one not on the individual assignment see this is activity one okay most of you have already submitted Okay, so all 16 of you has already been submitted. But this is not a file. You only submit the online text. Okay, so when you submit the files, okay, for example, in assignment one, okay, so that means you use, use the file transfer protocol. So for example, you download the individual assignment or group assignment. So this one, when you upload a file, okay, so this is open directly okay when you download use download this one okay so this one it will use the file transfer protocol okay let's see if fine or not okay it's not fine okay so that is the file transfer protocol so this is the example that we use the command prompt before next protocol is a telnet protocol okay telnet stand for teletype network which was developed in year 1969 so telnet is both a protocol that provides a command line interface okay command prompt okay for connecting to a remote device or to computer or to server and telnet is also a service that runs on a remote computer to make it accessible to other computers so telnet actually is a terminal emulation programs for tcp ip network so this telnet it allows real-time connection between user and remote computer so usually 
telnet is used to connect to mainframe computers or to connect to servers from the computers so telnet client applications that runs on the personal computer connects to the telnet server applications which runs on a remote computer so telnet enables to take control of a remote computer or the server with your personal computer or also known as the client and manipulate files and data on the server as if the server were your own computer so users who wants to log in to remote computer need a host account. It need a domain name or it need the IP address of the computer to be connected using Telnet. And it also require the log on information. Okay, for example, like login name or it need ID or also need a password. Okay. Uh, this example, okay, this is a telnet utility that allow users to test connectivity to the remote machine and issue commands through the use of a keyboard. So telnet is a protocol to provide communication over the internet or local area network using a virtual terminal connection. So it is installed by default on Linux or in all the Macintosh operating system. But for Windows, we must install it manually. Okay, so in this example, it shows the connections to our old UUM library server using the Telnet protocol. So to issue the command for the server to respond, the user need to put the input either using the number of the numbers or function keys okay for example over here if we want to look for library catalog so we type one and then press enter so if you want to reserve collection we put two for reserve collections if you want to inquiry about the borrower id we put number three if you want to get out from this okay server this domain name we type 99 if we need help in English, we press F2 on the keyboard. If we need help in Bahasa Malaysia, then we use the F3 functions on the keyboard. So this one was in year 2000, to almost 20 years ago, we used the Telnet protocol to access the our library system. But nowadays, we use the web server. Okay to access the internet sorry to access the uh, library so internet communications refers to the number of different ways people can communicate over the world wide web so this network allows different kinds of communication methods even though Email or electronic mail is fast becoming the main form of communication in the 21st century. It is the primary use of the web. It is not the only type of internet-based communication. We can use instant messaging. We can use blogs. We can use podcasts. We can use social networks. We can use chat rooms, news group or more for communicating via the internet. We can even talk over the phone through the internet with voice over internet protocol. Okay, for example, using the WhatsApp. Okay, voice over IP or VOIP refers to programs like Skype or WhatsApp or Messenger that allow people to communicate using audio and video over the internet email is short for electronic mail which is a computer based application and was designed as a program used to exchange messages that are stored within a computer 
So email is a written message that is sent and received over the internet. So the message can be formatted and enhanced with graphics and may also include other files as attachment. So like ordinary mail, electronic mail also have addresses. For example, s one two three four five at students.uum.edu.my. So this email address has two parts. The part before the alias sign, which is called as the local part of the address, usually the username of the recipient. And the part after the alias sign, which is the domain to which the email messages will be sent. Okay, let's see the example of the email. So, installed on my computer is a Microsoft Mail. So, this is a Microsoft Mail. And this mail has been set up to connect to email server of UUM. So, this is my email. Okay, this is my inbox. Okay. So, this is under account. Okay, uh, my UUM account. And this is a folder inbox. And these are the email that I received that I haven't read it. Okay. For example, this is about the uh, birthday wishes. Okay. So this is about the mobile applications, new stuff. Okay. Sorry, new mobile application for UUM stuff. Okay. So these are all my email. Okay. So and there is also um other functions okay for this email because it's also come with the calendar and also have to uh, switch to do okay and this is depending on the types of the mail client okay for example this is the email sorry the mail for the microsoft mail version 16005 this is for the microsoft windows mail okay which is a built-in inside the microsoft 10 operating system okay uh, and over here we can see a uh, reply mail reply to all forward delete and set flag so let's say i just delete this file or from here you can also can delete the file okay okay so these are all files a uh, 38 unread file okay so this is an email, okay, uh, my emails which are stored inside the mail server, okay, UUM mail server over here. So an email address identifies an email box to which email messages may be delivered emails are part of the protocols that are included in the transport control protocol internet protocol or tcpip which is a widely known protocol that has been used so when it comes to send emails in the simple mail transfer protocol while another popular protocol for receiving information via email is the pop3 protocol so simple mail transfer protocol or smtp is an internet standard for electronic mail transmission across internet protocol networks so smtp is specified for outgoing mail okay so this one is used for outgoing mail please remember that Okay, SMTP for outgoing and post office protocol is for receiving messages. So, SMTP is specified for outgoing mail transport and uses TCP port 25. While electronic mail servers and other mail transfer agents use SMTP to send and receive mail messages, user level client mail application okay 
usually use SMTP for sending messages to a mail server. Okay. For receiving messages, client application usually use either the post office protocol or the internet message access protocol or proprietary systems such as the Microsoft Exchange or Lotus Domino. Okay, or Lotus Notes or Domino to access their mailbox account on a mail server. Okay, for example, the UUM is using the Microsoft Exchange protocol for receiving messages. Distant messaging, also known as IM, is an online communication method used to connect two or more people in real time or back and forth conversation. Instant messaging are programs that enable people to communicate in real time with others who are online. So instant messaging is a form of real time direct text-based communication between two or more people using personal computers or other devices along with shared software clients so more advanced instant messaging software clients also allow enhanced modes of communication such as live voice or video calling for example like american online aim icq yahoo google windows live messengers pigeon mebo whatsapp wechat skype messengers and other types of instant messaging there are a lot of instant messaging nowadays okay so this example the american online instant messaging which enable people to have real-time online conversation with friends and family okay not to forget about your uh, whatsapp okay so your whatsapp also contains your instant messaging where you can uh, send it to your friends you can communicate with your friend okay so for example this is the whatsapp okay so where is all the uh, communication make place okay so you can send text okay so you can also play some videos okay and also some audio okay so this is example of the instant messaging as well and also sometimes known as chat as well okay a web blog or blog which began in year 1994 is an online log or personal diary or journal posted on the web that people shared online on this online journal people talk about their daily life or share about things that they were doing blogs are usually maintained or updated by an individual with regular entries of commentary description of events or other material such as graphic or video so a blog is a type of website where the content is presented in reverse chronological order. That means the newer content appear first. So the blog content is often referred as entries or blog posts. And video log or written vlog is a personal journal that use video as the primary content. So other than that, it can also contain text, images and audio. So the example of the blogs provided websites as for example blogger.com, lifejournal.com, Tumblr or WordPress. Next is a podcast which is a combination of broadcasting and iPods. So this is another method to entertain, humor and educate. It has the ability to download digital audio and video files for viewing 
and listening using portable listening devices or personal computers at any time. So most podcasts come in the form of series, just like a television show, and then are broken down into episodes. So each episode is in the same file format such as audio or video so that subscribers can enjoy the program the same way each time. So a clip of audio or video content that is broadcast over the internet using compressed audio and video file. For example, using the MP3s or using the MP4. So podcasts are usually original audio or video recordings but can also be recorded broadcast of a television or radio programs, a lecture, a performance or other events such as audiobooks, magazines and educational programs. Other use of internet is social network. So social networking is the use of internet-based social media sites by which people use the internet to communicate, to share information, or to stay connected with friends, family, colleagues, customers, or clients, or also can be used to meet and connect with others through common interests or through experiences. So social networking can have a social purpose or can be a business purpose or can be both through the site like Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Twitter, MySpace, Ning, Friendster, LinkLN, and Instagram. So social media sites like Facebook are another example of internet communication which allow people to post messages and then respond to the messages over others in a long network from one computer to another. So let's see the example of social networking site. This is my Facebook. Okay, so this is my social site. Okay, about nearly 23 hours ago okay i put my status that i've been uh, injected with the covid 19 vaccine second dose so also include the picture of myself okay and then at the ppv pusat pemberian vaccine okay and it shows the needles 0.3 ml okay that they inject me okay and this is after finished injection while waiting for the uh, to get my the ic back okay and then while waiting okay this is finished waiting and just take a picture okay for the memory that i have been vaccinated okay so this is an example of the facebook social network okay so these are all the posts about myself and this is about the current post or the current status. Okay. So this is one example of the social network. Okay. News group or Usenet news group is a storage or repository uh, for messages usually within the usenet system so it used for messages posted from users in different location using the internet so news group actually are discussion groups where millions of users read posting or articles using software called newsreader Users can then make comments and ask questions in response to the posting. Users can change information, experience and opinion and can discuss various topics such as politics, sport, education, science and etc. 
So Usenet News Group was the first news group introduced by Tom Truscott and Jim Ellis. So for news group, it used the Network News Transfer Protocol (NTP), which is an internet application protocol that used for transport Usenet news article between news server and for reading and posting articles by end user client application. So this is an old news group provided by UUM email. So this is also in year 2002. Okay. So these are all the topics. Okay. Even though they just put the topic OK Ka Hari Dubai training e web. So these are all the topics and these are all the replies and all the views. Okay. So this one was in year 2000. So video conferencing or teleconferencing or video teleconference, also known as visual collaboration, is a set of online interactive telecommunication technologies that allow users in different locations to hold face-to-face -face meeting without having to move to a single location together to interact via two-way video and audio transmission simultaneously. For example, right now, okay, I'm teaching you uh, using this video conferencing. You can see my face, okay, I can see yours, even though we are not at the same location. So it allows more than two people meet face to face virtually at different locations without reality attendance. So by using their computers, people on an intranet. Okay, as well as the internet can see and hear each other when they are communicating. So the benefits are for long distance communication and chance of wide communication between business, academicians and students. This is an example of the video conferencing before. This is using the net meeting. Okay, Windows net meeting okay but nowadays we use zoom we use webex okay we use skype okay and a lot more uh, software application another service provided by the internet is an internet forum so an internet forum or message board or also known as discussion board or discussion group or bulletin board or web forum which is an online discussion site. So it is originated as the modern equivalent of a traditional bulletin board. So this internet forum started in year 1980s, okay, very long time ago. So the internet forums are commonly websites dedicated to the online exchange of information about any subjects. So it also provides a venue or a place where people with similar interests can discuss and debate various topics. So it is a web applications and collaboration application managing user generated content. So it is used for discussion between two and more users based on interests. So the website members can post discussion and read and respond to posts by other forum members. So here we can see a list of internet forum like Gaia, Online, Animation, Run Escape, Video Games. Okay. So over here you can see a lot of the internet forum over here. Okay. So from content 0 to 9 until Zex and also at the end. Okay. So this is all the uh, list of internet forum. Yahoo Group, SDA Developer, Ibletin, Ubuntu Forum, okay, Swami 24, okay, uh, sorry, Swami 24, Quora, okay, so this is also uh, Quora where we can uh, also types of the internet forum. Okay, for example, this is where you ask questions and some other users reply there questions or reply the answers
wiki okay also another internet services okay is a website okay wiki is a website that allows user to create or to add or to modify or to update or to delete content on the site in a collaboration with others by using their own web server so this is made possible by using wiki software that runs on the wiki web server so text is usually written using a simplified markup language or using a rich tag editor okay, for example like notepad before and it serves many different purposes both for public and private including knowledge management note taking community websites and intranet so the example of wikis are like wikipedia which contain about 18 million articles about us.org 17 million wikimapia 13 million wiktionary wiki answers wiki books wiki quote open street map metabase okay and here a list of wiki PDS as well okay in several languages so here are list of wikis about us.com okay archwiki astro database baidu bake bike here ballotpedia base kata wiki citizen davis wiki accurate fallout wiki familypedia uh, this is about genealogy, family trees, and history. Okay, let's see about the family uh, pedia. Okay, family pedia homepage. Okay, so I've never seen this one. Okay, about the family pedia. So, talking about the Grace Enid Baglin, former US President Barack Obama family tree. Okay. So, a lot of other wikis, uh, geonames, Intellipedia, okay, Internet Movie Firearm Database, Metapedia, okay, using Encyclopedia. So, these are all lists of wiki, okay, wiki code, Wikipedia, okay, wiki source. So what is the ISP, Internet Service Provider? So the Internet Service Provider is a company or an organization or a party that provides many different services for accessing, for using or participating in the Internet. Okay, ISP also provides a connection for both personal and business customers to access the Internet. They may also provide other services, including email services, domain registration, web hosting, and browser packages. They also sometimes provide software. They also provide username, password, and internet access. And usually, they charge the customer for a monthly fee. So, the ISP themselves also connected to one another through the network access point so one internet service provider can easily connect to another internet service provider to obtain addresses of websites or user node so an example of isp in malaysia are like tmnet okay streaming uni5 or u mobile maxis salcom time and etc So the last slide for this chapter is what you need to use internet at home. What device? Okay, what do you need? So if users need to use internet at home, okay, you need to have a personal computer. So you need to have a laptop, okay, or you need to have a mobile phone, and also you need a modem. Okay, modem for example it can be internal modem or it can be external modem or it can be a wireless modem or it can be a dial up modem this is to connect your computer to the cable to the internet 
okay and sometimes you use the fixed line telephone digital subscriber line which is the standard broadband technologies in most areas okay for example you need a router that connect to the streamix or modem uh, modem okay you also need to have the connected to the unify for example okay or you want to connect to the mobile network okay for example like uh, built-in modem inside the mobile phones that to connect to the internet service provider and also you need to have the internet account with internet service provider so that's it for the chapter 2 about the internet